What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to interact with a door, how to open it and close it. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to do is basically create a new blueprint. You can do it basically in any folder, I'm just going to go into just a random folder for example. I'm just gonna go like for in the third person folder, it doesn't, doesn't matter. And just go ahead and right click and say blueprint class. So basically we're gonna make it of type actor because it's basically just gonna be placed in the world and that's it. So let's select it and then we're gonna name it BP door. Or you know, however, however you wanna call it, but anyway. So now let's go ahead and open it. And just put it over here in the tab and okay. So now let's add our, um, you know, just door model. Of course, you can use your own door model, but anyway. So basically, I'm just going to search for static mesh and and I'm just going to call this door. So now in here in the static mesh section, I can use search for door and we have some different doors. In my case, I can just choose the first one. Uh, if you import it with um, the starter content in Unreal Engine, which I think is used by default, you will also have this model, and if not, like I said, you can use, uh, I mean, you can even use like a cube or a plane or your own model. But anyway, here it is, our door. Now, to make it look a bit nicer, I'm just going to duplicate this one and then say to outdoor, door out. And then I'm just going to search for door and place door frame. Now, we may need to move a bit the door frame and to be in the position where the door is at or whatever. You can turn it later if you want. Let's go ahead and now compile and save. So now we can go into the event graph. And basically, we can now go ahead and just delete all of this. All right, so now what we can do is just search for a custom event. And just call this open door. So we will call this whenever we actually want to open the door, of course. So what we're going to do is simple. I'm just going to get the door and just drag it on here. And what we're going to do is set relative rotation here we go so basically this will allow us to set a rotation but of course we can just go here and find the axis which uh, will be like this so basically in the z axis will be so we could just uh, you know go ahead and put like 90 degrees and it will open but of course they will just snap it and we want to have a nice animation so it can transition uh, from one place to another so let's leave that at zero and what we're going to create is basically a timeline so just uh search for timeline we have add timeline and you say open uh door um yes or door uh timeline or whatever you want to call it right and then in here just plug it from um play from start and then we are going to go here and just plug this into the update all right, so now we can go ahead and double click the timeline and we'll open this. So now we can just add a new track, which will be from a float because we want to set basically a number so we can transition between the first rotation and the second one. And here I'm just going to say um, door um, float. I mean, it doesn't really matter. And then the length, how much time do we want the transition to be? In my case, I'm going to put something as 0.7. You're going to see that actually. Um, it's gonna look very, very good. So just right click and you say add a key and then on here in time I'm just gonna be zero and the value zero and then in here I'm gonna add another key and this time it's gonna be on 0.7 as it will finish and the value will be one now we hit this two It will basically fit along the viewport So now we can go back into the events graph and you can see that we have successfully gotten our output So now what we can do is drag this and say lurk and you can see that basically now we can transition from two things now the a actually the door float sorry needs to go into the alpha because that's what will transition from one to another so basically on zero it's gonna be our you know close rotation and on b we're gonna set it to 90 degrees because it's how we're gonna open it and as this value increases it's gonna transition from a to b so now what we have to do is apply this but of course, we only want to affect the set. So what we can do is just right click in here and say split struct pin. And then we can get uh, individually every uh, axis. So now we just want to go and find to the Z. And now with that, we can just compile and save. But now of course, we have to call this function, well, this event from the player when we want to open it. So let's go ahead and just open the 
third person uh, blueprint character or whatever uh, third person you're well, character you're using. So but I'm just gonna find a cool spot, all right? And then what we're going to do is just when we hit E, so just type E key or whatever, and then just find the E. Once you just create a line trace. So just go ahead and say line trace by channel. This will create an invisible line which will detect all the objects that we have in front of us. So the starting point will go from our camera. So we can just go and find our camera here and then get sorry, get world location and plug that in here. And then at the end, what I want to do is here get the uh, forward vector and then basically we need to uh, time set by a value so basically uh, we can you know set the length on here so we can just right click convert pin into a float and we can set this number and for example be 300 you know you can tune this in as you want uh, but anyway and then just drag this say add and we are basically gonna just move this one down and then add the world location on here and then just that will pin into the end the trace channel is going to be in invisibility and everything like that. And then what we're going to do is just search this for, um, sorry, for duration. And this will basically appear just for one second, let's say. So we can see the preview of the line just for one second. And then here what we can do is just break the hit result. And basically what we can do is a thing. But first of all, let's go back into our door blueprint. And what we're going to do is just select on the top here, uh, the parent. And this in here, we can search for tag and then we're going to add a tag. And let's name it door there we go compile and save go back into our third person character blueprint and then hit actor what can you say is has tag so basically this will allow us to just um you know interact with actually the door so we cannot interact uh by mistake with other uh, things that we collide and then i'm just going to say branch so basically if this is true uh, the object that we collided has the tag door, basically it's a door, right? So we're gonna just drag this and then we're gonna cast to um, BP door. And then you put it on true and basically we'll access the, well, basically the blueprint of the door uh, that we hit it. And then what we're gonna do is just say open door. And as you can see, we can now compile and save. And let's go back into our level. So now what we can do is just uh, drag our door blueprint into the scene. There we go, and now we can use hit play. So now if we get closer, we can hit E, and you can see that it created a line trace uh, for one second there. It's a, the red thing. Now you can see that we have different errors as basically uh, we are basically not hitting with anything. So we're gonna control one thing first. First of all, we are gonna ask if we actually collided with something. So if we actually didn't connect with something, we're not getting like the door uh from the air so they will not give us that error and then another thing i'm going to do is the land trace i'm gonna make it to be uh around 3000 just, just to make sure that we are actually colliding with it now maybe if the third person character is in the middle it will collide but we can tune this in but later so now you can see we are launching uh, perfectly the um, line trace and it's colliding but of course we have a problem is that we the door doesn't have an actual collider now the outside does but the door doesn't so what we're going to do is just select the door get rid of the tag here and then open double click on the static mesh on here so for some reason i don't know why it doesn't have a, a collider so we can just go into collision and add box simplified collision and we just add a simple just uh, cube shaped, uh, shaped collision around the door so now we actually can test this out we can just go here press e and i will actually go ahead and open and we can go through etc so now let's go ahead and quickly make that we actually can close it but you can see that it will just repeat and repeat so what we're going to do is just go into the vent graph and what we can do is a flip-flop so this will detect if we do it one time and then we hit it again it will do another time right so go ahead and just move this a bit up the end and what we can do is just on the b just call it so it will be from the reverse all right instead of uh, playing it from the start it will play it from the reverse and then basically in the update it will do it too on the same thing so now we compile and press play you can see that if i go here 
and I, it will actually open and if I pass and then again go ahead and close it and there we go and we can do it again and again all the times that we want so you guys that was the tutorial I hope it was easy to follow if you found it helpful please like and subscribe to the channel I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials and please leave a comment on what things you want to see on more Unreal Engine 5 tutorials in the future so with all that said guys I hope you enjoyed the video and with all that said bye bye